Okay, let's talk about this beautiful little watch. I mean, I'm having this review in a hurry, kind of a hurry, because by the time this video gets out, uh, this watch probably will be gone. Somebody's coming to pick it up. Uh, I'm selling it. I do love the look of the watch, but there are some issues that I do not like about this watch. Mainly one, the size, the size of the watch. Okay, let's uh, go through some dif dimensions first. Okay. So the watch is 41 millimeters in diameter, 14.3 millimeters thick, and the lock to lock distance from my measurement, I got 48.5 millimeters. Something in between 48.5 to 48. Yeah, anyway. It's not a bad measurement um, on paper, although because of how the watch is designed, it sits quite uncomfortably on my 6.15 inch wrist. If you can see the belly of the watch, this part, this is, this comes out, you know, when the watch sits on the table like this, you can see that the belly of the watch is, is farther away from this lug of the watch. It just kind of, kind of sits funny on the wrist, you know. This lock sits higher than the belly, so yeah, on my 6 inch, 6.15, 6 to 6.15 inch wrist, I don't feel it, feel it, uh, feel like it sits right under this, yeah. <laughs> however, however, this watch I think does not look big um, when, uh, when it is uh somebody else's perspective you know when you, when you look while you are wearing it it doesn't i i think it does it looks all right on my wrist it's it's just how it is it's a pilot's watch so yeah but look at look at this watch it is a beautiful watch i would have wanted it to be maybe um, 40 no not 40 39 millimeters let's give it a wind so it just starts running. There you go. Yep. Get the underside. Look at that crystal, beautiful boxed crystal. So this watch is equipped with a, a Longines L688 movement. So that's a, a modified value 7753, I think. Uh, yeah, so they modified it to house that uh, column wheel movement. One thing I would have wanted in this watch is a, um, a, an exhibition case back. Because uh, when I when I look at the pictures of the movement online, then it, it is it is one beautiful uh, movement. It's beautifully decorated. It's nice. So it would have been nice to you know look at the movement, just see how it works. It's it would have been one thing that would have made this watch a little bit better. And. I would have wanted the lugs shorter and a little below, like I said before, a uh, little below. So the lugs, uh, this part, this part here, sits on the wrist, not this part. It makes it sit higher on my wrist. Okay, what uh, what would have made this watch better, in my opinion? You can disagree all you want, but it's my opinion. So, like I said, an exhibition case back. The design of the lugs here maybe uh, make this 
this part here a little, little bit low so it hugs the wrist nicely uh, and what else uh, designs of the lug yeah exhibition and also yes and a hundred meters uh, water resistant that's it and it, it would have been an almost almost perfect watch <laughs> or maybe 39 millimeters instead of 41 I've seen um, other long jeans with the same movement in 39 millimeters so yeah yeah they could have made it better that way mm, this strap is all right it's not bad it's a uh, calf leather it's 20 the lug with it 20 millimeters so uh, other other straps would fit it fit the watch you know it's it's not hard to find 20 millimeters it's one of the most common strap sizes mm, what else let's see a column wheel chronograph in that price range it's it's a very tempting watch and and the history behind it is pretty cool you you probably know it other otherwise google it <laughs> let's see the column wheel in action very nice um, very nice action to the pushers It's not a fly flyback, sorry, flyback chronograph, so don't push it while the uh, second hand is running. Okay, let's stop it. Let's see it snap. Look at that snap. Wow, it's great. And um, let's look at the crown action. And action is good you can feel it till the moment it's solid with the crown action but one thing when you wiggle it a little bit the hands move that's what I don't like in movements like this you know even even my Seiko even my even the SK axis and even this 12 year Seiko I've got 12 year old the hands are very 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 nice I mean not the hand when you wiggle it like this then it doesn't move like that you you feel that they're solidly built okay I like the design I just wish it were 39 millimeters and yeah a little shorter lug to lug distance and a little thinner I would have liked it um, liked it if they had made it manual winding instead of automatic so that would make it thinner so it would uh, sit nicely on the wrist yeah look at that look at that look at the crystal it's a beautiful watch yeah nice buckle long jeans buckle signed the buckle signed crown okay yeah great watch okay if you're interested in um, looking at the box that it came with in just a second put it away Okay, so yeah, this is the box that came in, came with big massive box. I'm not gonna lie, the, it's one of the reasons I bought the watch. <laughs> Look at the box here, yeah. massive box. Okay, Longines Navigation Blue Big Eye written over here. Yeah, anyway, that's it. That's the box. Mm, 
when I got the watch it retailed for I think 34.50 in Australia but now it has gone up to 36.25 yeah that's it okay okay I'll put it on the wrist oh shit <laughs> My wrist is 6.15 inch or maybe sometimes depending on where you measure but yeah very fairly small wrist I'll give you some pictures in perspective as well because wrist shots like this you know they are not that reliable to look at anyway this is the wrist shot what do you guys think yeah. What do you guys think? <laughs> uh, bear with me. English is not my first language. Does it look big on my wrist or am I just being paranoid? Hmm, I hope I don't regret selling this watch. I think it's uh, one of those watches. Uh, that might you know hold its value well in the future if Longines, uh, Longines discontinue it now Longines before I sell it please discontinue so I don't regret selling it again <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful watch anyway that's it that's the review if you have any questions, feel free to ask it, uh, mention it in the comment section. Yeah, that's it. The Longines Avigation Big Eye. And there's there's an interesting story um, when I went to buy this watch. Interesting in story with the dealer of this watch. Let me know if you want to hear it. That's it.